Hello, and welcome to the GRACE podcast series. My name is Denise Brock, and I am the Operations Director for the Global Resource for Advancing Cancer Education, or GRACE. In this podcast series, we interview patients, advocates, and healthcare professionals to provide the most updated information for our community and to highlight important issues facing those dealing with a cancer diagnosis. We hope you find this information valuable. For questions or comments, please visit us at cancergrace.org. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Dr. Madhavi Gupta. Today we'll be talking about breast cancer with brain metastasis. Having metastasis in the brain can be a matter of huge concern, both for the patients as well as the medical team. After lung cancer, breast cancer is the most common cancer associated with brain mets. To discuss this topic, today I'm joined by Dr. Nancy Lin. Dr. Lin is an Associate Chief for the Division of Breast Oncology at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. She's also a Director for the Program for Patients with Breast Cancer Brain Metastasis. She has an extensive research experience on this topic and has authored a number of publications, including the recent study of tacatinib in patients with HER2-positive breast cancer. In addition, she is also an author of the up-to-date section on brain metastases in breast cancer. Okay, let's talk about the prognosis. So what is the impact on survival in patients who have uh, brain metastases in breast cancer? Right, you know, it's still a negative prognostic factor. So if you look overall at patients with versus without brain metastases, the survival is still shorter, median survival is still shorter in patients with uh, brain metastases compared to those without. But the differences have really, um, uh, changed over time between the subtypes. So if we look, so Paul Sperduto uh, led a multi-institutional collaboration where we all contributed data um, on patients who were treated with radiation therapy. So they had to at least get to that threshold, treated with radiation therapy for brain metastases, and then looking at prognostic factors from the time of brain met diagnosis. And what came out really strongly was performance status uh, and tumor subtype. There were some other factors important, like the number of brain metastases, extracranial disease status, but really the, the most important factors were, were P, uh, PS and um, tumor subtype. So if you look at somebody with, who's young with good performance status, has HER2 positive breast cancer, um, you know, their median survival in the analysis was about three years. Uh, where somebody with triple negative breast cancer and poor um, performance status has a median survival less than six months. So it's really very different by subtype. Um, and there isn't actually an interesting uh, tail on the curve in terms of HER2 positive patients with brain metastases. And there are some people who make it out five years or longer uh, with brain metastases. Thank you, Dr. Lin, for sharing the information and your thoughts. Having metastases in brain can be quite worrisome for patients, and we are really thankful to scientists like you who are devoting their time and energy on studying this special subtype, and we hope the information that we shared today is helpful to the patients and their families. Thank you again for joining us. This podcast was made possible by the generosity of sponsorship from our friends at Lilly and Exalexis. Please like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Send us feedback, share your story, donate, and visit us for more information at cancergrace.org. Thank you for listening.